What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a Raikou team for Ranked Regulation F. Now, unlike its brand new form, Raging Bolt, this Raikou is here for big time support. It has an amazing move set of Light Clay, Reflect, Snarl, and E-Web that gives us access to speed control, special attack drops, and on top of that, screens. Who doesn't like screens? Helps your team make them super, super bulky. Put Light Clay on this thing like we have. Those screens are lasting almost the whole battle with eight turns. Last but not least, on Raikou, it does have an amazing ability of focus to stop flinches from Incineroar, Roll Boom, or any other fake out. So Raikou, definitely top tier in the support category. Cannot wait to use it in today's video. This team also features two brand new Regulation F Pokemon that we already used on the channel, Incineroar, Rod Latias. Yeah, I've seen them plenty of times. Super, super strong all around. They have their good old time out here in Regulation F. Final three Pokemon are going to be Fluttermane. You guys have been seeing him all the time. Same thing with Wellspring Ogre Pond. But the last Pokemon is going to be Great Tusk. A Great Tusk is still very, very strong in ranked battles, but I haven't actually used it in a while. But I know it can hit like a truck. It's got Proto Synthesis, Assault Vest, and then an amazing moveset of Brick Break to break screens, Ice Spinner to actually break terrain, and then EQ and High Horsepower for big time stab damage. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the support Raikou team. First match is here, and we're going up against a double long neck team. Actually, make it maybe three or four or maybe five long neck Pokemon. They got the Orthworm, that has a long neck. Milotic definitely has a long neck. Low Executor. Basic Bolt, Gyarados, and Superior looks just like a long neck team, right? Kind of funny, but Raikou is going to be a great support Pokemon lead for us. We can set up screens, we can really start getting after it, so I'm going to end up leading that Pokemon. And on top of that, another Pokemon that I do like, Fluttermane. It could be Fluttermane here, or I could just go into Wellspring Ogre Pond. That's also not a bad lead here as well. What do I want to do? Fluttermane? Yeah, I think Fluttermane. Or I could go you. I could go Latias. You got Recover, you got Draco Meteor, you got Tailwind, Mist Ball. I actually like Fluttermane here. We're gonna look to do some big time damage with that Pokemon. We will bring uh, Great Tusk in the back end, and then last but not least, probably go into maybe Ogre Pond. I just like it. I do. Hmm. Do I really want it though? Because the real problem is gonna be Executor and Raging Bolt. We kind of need stuff to get after that, and that makes me kind of want to bring in Latias. Latias is fast, has the psychic moves on top of that, has the uh, Dorico Meteor. Yeah, I like Latias. I do like Latias, so that's going to be a squad. Let's lock it in. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one using support Raikou. So with Raikou, hopefully they throw out maybe some special attackers. I can always snarl them, but they do have more physical attackers than anything. Actually, no, they don't because Raging Bolt is special attack. This could be pretty big. A lot of snarls, a lot of light trains. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Gotta watch out for competitive Milotic though. That might be a lead for them. That's kind of why I want to lead to Ogre Pond. And no, it's just gonna be Gyarados and Orthworm. So Orthworm can set up those defense boosts all day. You can really just start thriving with this defense boost. It does have Heavy Slam. So maybe we want to just swap Fluttermane. We could swap Fluttermane here. I could E-Web slow down a little bit and do some damage. Or I could just set up this Reflect. And you know what? I'm just gonna set up Reflect Turn 1 and for you... I could throw a power gem or I could just swap because like I said, I think maybe like a heavy slam might come out here and In this case, we could just go into the great tusk and The great tusk isn't a bad play Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna go into the great tusk here I'm gonna save our flutter made for later not dealing with heavy slams from earthworm coming out here We're just really hoping it's not setting up an iron defense either, right? Iron defense would be a problem. So we're gonna swap to the elephant get going from there. They're gonna trash last turn so we're probably going to see a Gyarados Terrasilize just to get it away from the water, right? Yeah. And they're going to go straight into ground. So ground type little booger right here. Ground type. He's going to ground type up. And what is Orthorm going to do? <clears throat> we just don't want the defense boost from Orthorm, right? The iron defense would be a problem. Waterfall is still going to fly into the slot. And my boy actually soaks really well. Heavy Slam coming into the slot as well. So they're doubling down and we're soaking no problem. So with that soak going on, we have Reflect up. Um, I could actually just hard swap you into a different Pokemon. And then just start attacking, because I could go Fluttermane now. I could definitely go Fluttermane now. Because I doubt you're heavy slamming this slap. Could go Latias. I don't mind Fluttermane. Once we start getting off some damage onto 
onto uh, these guys. And actually, I could maybe just EQ now. That's something I like a bit more. So maybe I'll just go into Latias. Yeah, I'm going to go into Latias and then just start EQing across the board here. Don't want Terrasalize and Steel. No, we're, we're just going to sit here and just wrap our EQ. So I'm going to withdraw the Raikou. We have Reflect up. And we're going to save our Terra and pop an EQ. <clears throat> Looking to do some big time damage onto the Earthworm. We know we can survive another uh, Waterfall, which is good. Oh, and you have Earth Eater. I totally forgot you have Earth Eater. I totally forgot that's your ability. But still, we get off some nice damage onto Gyarados. Nothing crazy. And now we Iron Defense sets up. Oh, man. Draco Meteor, you're going to have to come in clutch here. You're going to have to definitely come in clutch. He ends up Dragon Tail on me, but she's going to swap me out, doesn't it? Yeah, it's swaps me out. Can you bring out Fluttermane, please? Please and thank you. Don't bring out Raikou. Okay, I'll take Fluttermane. The Fluttermane's here. They end up swapping out my boy. And now from here, we're just going to start attacking that slot. Well, I really want to, but can't really do much on that. So we'll miss ball that. And I could drop an Icy Wind. Could start Shadow Balling. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I feel like they think we're going to swap, right? There's definitely a possibility where they think we're going to swap. So they just Iron Defense up again. I'm going to go into the Shadow Ball here. Do some nice damage. And Miss Ball is going to fly into the Garibus slot. So hopefully no Heavy Slam coming out here. We do get a crit onto the Garibus. And a special attack drop. And of course they got the berry. So berry flying out. God dang berry. Still have reflect, which is really nice. And they end up just thunder waving. They're gonna slow me down just a tad bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And from here, are you going for another iron defense? You are. So I make the hard read of them going for an iron defense. And I'm hoping that I can just outspeed that thing, right? Because another shadow ball can potentially KO. I might have to double down into that just to get rid of that. I might have to double down into that. So I'm just going to go Mist Ball. And I am going to end up doubling down into this Earthworm. And trying to KO it. We're trying to get rid of this thing. So Mist Ball flying through here. How much damage is this going to do? Not bad, but I had to get off some more damage. And Fluttermane, can you still outspeed that Earthworm? I really hope you can. I really hope you can. And I get flinched. And I get flinched. Just what I wanted. To be flinched. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now, so now I can bring out the Tusk. And the Tusk actually isn't going to be too bad. The Tusk can just Brick Break and finish. Oh, can Brick Break finish that off? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. But we're definitely going to go into Brick Break. We're going to definitely need Latias to clutch up these guys to get some big time damage. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go Mist Ball. I'm just going to keep attacking this thing and trying to KO it. I can't go for a ground move into that. He could soak pretty well. He wouldn't just soak. He would get HP back. So of course, my Flutter Mane flinches. Off of a waterfall. That's brutal. And we gotta go from here because I would love to have Fluttermane for a couple of turns. But Miss Ball's gonna fly here. This should chunk up some nice damage. Yeah, Brick Brick should be able to finish that off with Stab. Get it on out of here. Cool. And we dump on that. So from here, he's probably just dropping yet another waterfall that we can soak up. And I might have to set up a Tailwind next turn so my boys can outspeed. The Tusk is still soaking up, which is beautiful. Not too worried about Gyarados. It is minus one on special defense. But I can pull off a nice big time EQ, get off some nice damage. I can be down for that. But they're going to go into Superior. Superior comes out here. And what's the speed on my squad? How fast are you, Tusk? How fast? You're only 127. I want Superior out speed and just get off big time leap storms. That could be a little bit of an issue. That could definitely be a little bit of an issue. I'm definitely going to go Mist Ball here. And I'm going to double down with Ice Spinner. Actually, do I just Tailwind? I might just Tailwind, and I might use my Terrasalize. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Tailwind, and I'm going to Terrasalize Steel. Just so I can soak up that Waterfall one more time. And then go for an Ice Spinner here. And try to do some damage on the Superior. That's what I like the most. I like that the most. I know I'm at like 51 HP, but I feel like I need to use a Terra right now. And get after it. I feel like I have to. I definitely need Light Screens out here. Because Superior is special attacking. We do have Reflect out here. We can't use Snarl on Superior because it probably is rocking contrary. That'd just be a problem. But Leaf Storm's gonna fly here, and we're able to soak due to that Steel Terror type. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now I get off Tailwind. Gyarados is probably going after Latias, to be honest with you. I doubt he doubles down into my into my, my boy right there. And Ice Spinner doing more than half, which is huge. Huge. And he ends up Thunder Wave in Latias. We love that. We love that. Because now I can Ice Spinner down 
the superior again, and I can just go for a nice little miss ball. So us behind these screens are just ridiculous. So I don't want to pop Draco Meteor just yet. We're going to go for another Ice Spinner. And we're going to get after the Gyarados with Miss Ball, who is minus one on special defense. So I think this Miss Ball has a hot shot at KO. That'd be beautiful. That would be beautiful. They have no first turn priority moves ready to go. We're playing this one nicely. They end up protecting the superior, you little booger. How dare you? How dare you protect? And Ice Spinner is going to get blocked. So I kind of need you here to KO, Latias. I know you outspeed. You just can't be paralyzed. Cool. Can you KO? Can you KO? You get a crit and you don't KO. That's brutal. Now, can you soak this up? 26 with the reflect. Come on, man. <laughs> At least I got some speed. So now might be the turn to actually pop a Draco Meteor. I don't know who their final Pokemon is, though. I do not know. I do not know, but I might want to pop a Draco Meteor just to look to KO. Uh, I'm going to set up a light screen. Definitely help us out. Maybe not set up the Draco Meteor just yet. I just want to go Miss Ball. You are plus two. You have to go. Yeah, you have to go right now. You're plus two. You have to go. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I mean, I'm just going to snarl. Look for the KO. Double KO here. Yeah, it's going to be my play. So we got some speed going with Tail. We got some speed going. So snarl is going to KO. I know I'm boosting Superior's attack. But I'm hoping Latias is not paralyzed and can just land a straight meteor and finish this thing off. Because it has to go now. I'm not risking uh, a miss ball and then them KO on my Pokemon. I'm not doing that. And you're out speeding. So Leaf Storm's coming through and... I could survive, which is great. Okay, and you're KO. So this is this is a close match, yo. This is a real close match. So we'll see who comes out here. Raikou is going to be fastest on the field unless they have some first turn priority Pokemon. And my Reflect's gone. So whoever they throw out, I'm setting up either a Reflect or a Light Screen and trying to have Latias just get after it. And it's going to be this little booger. Looks like we're dropping Draco Meteor. So I'm going to Draco Meteor up. Uh, I'm going to set up a light screen, try to help out the squad. If he goes for Thunderclap, which he doesn't, now I can actually set up the light screen for free. And then I can start snarling him as well. Dude, this match is going to be so close. I need a crit, pretty much. Jericho is going to get blocked. I'm minus two. I'm going to keep snarling him down behind the light screen. I know Raikou's pretty fast. Raikou going to get after it. We're going to go for another Draco Meteor. We're going to go for a Snarl, and dude, this one, this might take a little bit. Thunderclap's going to come in here and just finish off Raikou. Okay. I feel you. I understand. Draco Meteor, can you land? Get a crit? Just finish this thing off? We're missing Draco Meteors. We're missing them. We're just missing Draco Meteors. We're paralyzed. Dude, this is brutal. I do have, what's it called? I do have, uh... Do I want to try his lower special defense first? Because I don't think he's doing any crazy damage. Unless, actually, he's rocking Draco Meteor, right? You're definitely rocking Draco Meteor. What are you protecting for? That's a real question. You have Draco Meteor. You have to have Draco Meteor. I'm going to go for Draco Meteor of my own. Let's see. I think he's got me. Yeah, you got Draco Meteor of your own. That's game. No, actually, I survived that. Can I get a crit and finish you off? Can I get a crit? No, I don't get a crit. So honestly, if anything, I'm hoping he misses his Draco Meteor and I pop a recover. That's our best bet. That is our best bet. Nope, they don't miss their Draco Meteor. But solid first match. Raikou making a super, super bulky, but we just didn't have enough attack power on this team or on the four that we chose to actually pull through the victory. So guys, not a bad first match, but we're hopping into our second match and looking for our first victory. Gonna lead Raikou yet again because I want to showcase it. And on top of that, screens are just super, super strong. They got Indeedee, they got Iron Crown, they also have Entei, Incineroar, then Wellspring, Ogre Pond, alongside with Tornado. So again, Raikou's gonna be our lead. We definitely want some screens. They have a few special attackers, especially two Psychic special attackers, which Snarl is gonna be amazing for. So Raikou, you're definitely coming in. So we lead Raikou, and who should I lead it with? I could lead it with Latias just to go Tailwind for Tailwind if they want to actually go that route. And that's not a bad play for me. That is not a bad play for me. Screens, Tailwind, or I can go like Intimidate, or I can just go straight up attacking maybe with Assault Vest. Great Tusk. That's not a bad call either. I do like the Great Tusk. Yeah, because if they want to go Terrain Control right off the rip, I can just break the Terrain and start getting after it. So I'm going to go in with those two. I'm going to bring Fluttermane in the back end. And last but not least, Wellspring Ogre Pond is just going to work super well. So I definitely want that, especially up against Incineroar and End. So we're sitting 0-1. Should have definitely probably had a better match in the uh, first one. But hey, I'm not warmed up. I'm ready to go now. We just used this team for the first time in the last battle. 
And I think we should be able to grab a win here. Hopefully they lead the Iron Crown in game. That's something I would really, really like. In all honesty. Because then at that point, I would just terrestrialize the, uh, the Tusk. Taking away our Psychic Weakness. And then I would break terrain. And on top of that, set up Lay Train and then just start snarling and kind of getting after it that way. But let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Indeedee alongside with this little booger. With Incineroar. So, definitely want to set up Blight Screen. They're going to fake out the Tusk. I don't have Protect on the Tusk, which is kind of annoying. And I'm just going to set up this. Actually, I might just swap the Tusk at this point. I might just swap the Tusk. I could keep the Tusk in and just break terrain first. I could definitely break terrain first if I want to. But I'm just going to set up a light screen just to kind of deal with the NDD. Yeah, I'm going to break terrain first. Or at least try to break terrain first and then swap the Tusk. It ends up just going for a follow me. Are you faking me out? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Light screen coming out here. What are you doing? You party shouting? You could be. I'm just going to ice spin again. I'm breaking the string. I don't, I, there's just no need for it. There's just no need for it. And what are you going for a parting shot? You're going for a knockoff here. So you're going to take off my vest. Not my AV. Not my assault vest. Don't like that one bit. So now that we have that screen set up, I can now set up a reflect pretty confidently, right? Just get off the extra screen. And then I can swap into Flutter Me. The Fluts. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Flutter Me. So I'm going to swap into Flutter Me from here. Get my attack back. My great tusk. And we did break terrain, which is huge. So they might just swap in the So I got a Flutter Man. I'm kind of hoping they just keep Ndidi on the floor, the floor so we don't have to worry about them going back in terrain. And they're just going to swap it. So they want terrain for later. Okay. He going into So they probably have Iron Crown in the back end. And they're going to go into Overpond. So I pretty much know the play. If they really wanted that terrain that bad, they're probably going into uh, Overpond. Or not Ogopon, uh, Iron Crown. But he ends up knocking off my leg play. We already got off screens, which is massive. And from here, I think we just slow these guys down. And I might just terrestrialize and start Daz and Gleaming, right? Yeah, it's going to be my play. Especially with choice, choice specs. Let's just terrestrialize. Let's start getting off some big time damage and kind of getting after it that way. I like it. I definitely like it. So out comes the Terror type. We love it. I have E-Web coming across for a bit more speed control for my later Pokemon. And looking to get off some nice damage with Fluttermoon. Plus, it could take away the neutral knockoff coming into this slot. Probably from the Incineroar. So he's probably going to take off my choice specs, which uh, I don't mind that too much. Especially as long as I get off one turn with this move. It'd be nice. I kind of wish I had Thunderbolt here. It'd be awesome, but... Big time damage coming out from the Fluttermoon. And he's going to end up Citrus Bearing up. I could see a parting shot here come out as well. That's definitely an option for them. And Ivy Cudge is going to fly through there, which hopefully no crit, right? Yeah, no crit. Beautiful. We get the soak and knock off this flying into the slot as well, which my Flutter main eats up. So Choice Specs is gone, but I still like the damage output. So we're going to go back into an E-Web. I could go into a Power Gem if I want to. But I kind of have to make sure that this thing kind of dies out, right? Yeah, I'm cool. We have to make sure that that Ogre Pond dies out. He's just going to spike shield, which is totally fine. Unless you parting shot here. Unless you go for a parting shot. So we still have plenty of turns left in our screens. Rack you nice lovely on the support side. And E-Web is just going to slow you down again. And how much damage is this going to do? So this would have been a good turn to actually use Power Gem. Power Gem could have ripped. Can we actually KO with this? This might. This might KO this thing. It doesn't. Dang it, man. I really want the KO. But Flare Boy's going to fly. He's going to die to recoil. And he's going to take out my Flutter Mane at the same time. I don't mind that because we had a nice little damage output there. We have Ogre Palm minus one. We have some screens up here as well. So now the real question is, who do they go into? Do they go into... Oh, you didn't die to recoil. That's a little absurd. That's a little absurd. So do I go into you? Do I go into Ogre Palm or do I go into this guy? Mm, I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond here. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond's gonna come out here. Ogre Pond's coming out here. 
I'm gonna snarl just in case to swap. Actually, no. Let's just keep e-speeding. We're gonna e-speed, and I'm just gonna horn leech and finish this off. Not e-speed, e vibe And we'll go from there. They might even swap in Cinnamon this turn. No, they don't. Can this E-Web KO? It does. Cool. So it KOs the Incineroar. We're now going to be able to KO the Ogre Pond. And from here, now we're sitting in a bit tougher position because they're going to bring out the terrain. And I need to do two things before we get started. I, or actually, pretty much one. I have to get E-Web out. The reason I want to get E-Web out is I need my Pokemon out speed. So if I get out speed, I can then next turn go for Snarls and I can just start dropping special attack. So here comes Indeedy, Terrain is here, and Iron Crown, right? Am I right? Yes. So this is why they want the Terrain so bad, for late game purposes. So I still have Light Screen up. Beautiful. We love that. We love Light Screen. And this could be a helping hand move. Do we really want a Spiky Shield here? Maybe, potentially. And probably just E-Web slow down. Actually, how fast are you? How fast are you, right? Because if you're out speeding... Yes, you definitely are. 183, you're flying. Unless I think just boost your energy up. Did you boost your energy? You might have, I kind of forget. But you know what? I'm just going to E-Web. I'm just going to Spiky Shield here. I'm not trying to take damage right now. Not trying to take damage. Because if I can just get the E-Web off. If I can just get the E-Web off, slow up, and then just start Snarl in the next turn. That could be big. Fun. So I'm going to Spiky Shield. I'd rather this thing be taking minus one Snarl damage. Because Raikou should be able to eat up this move, right? Should be able to eat up this move. I'm going to E-Web, slow them down for a turn. And he's just going to expand in force, which Raikou should be able to soak, right? Behind the light screen, support Raikou's pretty bulky Pokemon. Helping hand. Oh my lord, that damage. It's too much. It's way too much. But we do get the minus one drop. We do get the minus one drop on speed. So now I get to bring out this guy. I could take out Terrain. I could definitely take out Terrain. I could definitely take out the Terrain. Hmm. Do I take out Terrain? Yeah, let's take out Terrain. So we'll actually neutralize some damage there. So I'm going to take out Terrain, and on top of that, I'm just going to go for an IV Cudgel into this slot. Look for big time crits, trying to get rid of this Iron Crown. So he's probably going to be able to take out my what's called new problem. Like maybe should have started going after Indeed first and foremost. But he's probably just going to be able to take out my, my boy in one shot, my Great Tusk. Unless we take out Terrain, it really neutralizes that damage a lot. But a helping hand. Expanding Forest is looking deadly. It's looking real deadly. So let's see what they do. They're going for the Helping Hand Expanding Forest. My Pokemon should outspeed. They should. I have a Culture Flying Theory. Just give me a crit and take this thing out. That's a big time damage. Ice Spinner's going to be able to take out Terrain. So that's going to help neutralize damage. And let's see who they go after here. Let's see what they do here. They end up going after the Great Tusk. Can you soak? Probably not, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. So now this turns into a 2v1. And if anybody's going to clutch it up, it's going to be Wellspring Overpun. It's going to be Wellspring Overpun. So we have one turn left in Light Screen. We do outspeed. I'm going to go after Iron Crown. Look to finish this thing off. Um, you could go for Follow Me if you want. But I think we KO whoever we hit here. And we'll see. And we'll see. They could honestly just protect and waste out the last turn of Light Screen. That would probably be best bet. And he ends up just going for a follow me. So as long as I'm able to KO here, we win this match, right? Because we should be able to soak up his shot no matter what. And we do KO. So we should be able to soak up this shot. I'd be very surprised if we die out. Especially with no terrain. Especially with no terrain. You, you're, you're eating this up, over fun. I'm not even overthinking this. Yeah, okay, cool. I was going to say, if we died out to that in light screen, that'd be absurd. But... Raikou's light screen definitely clutching up for us. Speed control on top of that, making Ogre Pond and Great Tusk faster. We're able to break the terrain late game and finish off this match with Ogre Pond. It's actually a really solid second match. Really great second match, showcasing the power of support Raikou. But he's going to end up... Oh. Did we lose this one? <laughs> no, don't tell me we lose this one. Don't tell me we lose this one. You had water this whole time. You didn't, you didn't use it until now. It's a little stupid. It's a little stupid, ain't it? Hopefully, we still just KO. Let's see. We have to survive the shot. I don't think we... Actually, we should survive the shot. Okay, cool. We, we live on eight. We live on eight. We live on eight. <laughs> we live on eight. That's crazy. That's crazy. But from here, 
accuracy difference. No, not really. We're just going to go for a horn leech. We outspeed and we still win this game regardless. Crazy terror at the end there. Final match coming at you guys. Let's look to go 2-1 and, and grab ourselves a winning record. Haven't played bad today. The first match came down to the wire. Second match came down to the wire. We ended up losing one and winning one. So now we're sitting 1-1 one one, looking for that winning record. But Raku has just been so good. I'm going to end up leading it again. Really, really good with that inner focus. And the support moveset has just been really, really good for us. Right? You got screens. You got snarls. E-web. Really came in clutch in the last match. But, uh... Who else should I leave that? I kind of like Flutterman with the choice specs. Just some big time damage all around. They could leave Frigraph, try to set up the Trick Room. That is a possibility for them. So maybe from here, instead of going into Flutterman, we could go into a Pokemon, maybe like Ogre Pond. That's not bad. I definitely want to bring in Ogre Pond. I think Ogre Pond's just such a solid lead. So I am going to end up bringing in Ogre Pond. I'm going to bring Fluttermane, and last but not least, could go instant war, but I'm going to go in with Great Tusk. I just feel like we need more attack power. So going in with Great Tusk is going to be really, really solid for us, especially up against special attackers. You have the Assault Vest, probably Lady Screens are going to be up. So any special attacker, really not doing a significant amount of damage to him. But that trainer card with a bunch of Grookies, I love it, yo. I love Grookie. Grookie's so sick. <laughs> he's so tough. He was my starter in the Sword and Shield. I think he's just super cool. But they end up leading Flutter main alongside with instant war. So I'm just going to Spiky Shield here. It makes the most sense. Dodge a fake out. Dodge whatever move uh Fluttermane's going for. And then try to set up just a late screen on top of that. Just to just to deal with the damage. So spiky shield coming out here. We're gonna protect our lovely little grass grass mask Pokemon. Whatever you want to call this thing. Little ogre pond. Our little ogre, we'll call it. Our little ogre. They're gonna end up terrasizing. Probably Fluttermane. Looking just go all out fairy damage here. Yeah, and they're most likely dropping a gleam. Or even. Hopefully a moon blast into the ogre pond side. Because from here, spiky shield's coming out. We're blocking all these moves. We're not playing around. Are they going for fake out in this slot? No. Oh no. You're doubling down into me? You read that? Oh, I almost die. Luckily I'll be able to get off the slide tree. No, no. They double down in the Raikou here. No, the party shotting at least. Okay, we get that off. That's big time. Whew. That's a little crazy, ain't it? That's a little wild. And I'm gonna go for the reflect if we can pull it off. They might be choice in this, and then if I can, I might just try Ivy Cudgel in that thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try to Ivy Cudgel this. Actually, you could go into what's going. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel you. You might hard swap an Ogre Pond with Water Absorb. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. We do not like that one bit. Well, I could Ivy. I could just Ivy Cudgel last turn and just take out the Incident War. But if they do have Ogre Pond, they're gonna swap in. So that's why I want to attack the Flutter Main. But I have off Light Screen. They're gonna stay in, here. and they're just gonna take out the Raikou, which uh, I don't. I don't mind. I mean, I have Light Screen out and about. Uh, I should just went after Incident War. Would have been her best bet. But from here, I maybe the Ivy Cudgel. Maybe get a crit. Can we get a crit? No, we don't get a crit. Some nice damage though. Any parting shots? In there. Another Ivy Cudgel picks up the KO, which is huge. Another Ivy Cudgel picks up the KO. Um, I am minus one on special attack now. Or not special attack, physical attack. But from here... They go in the frig ramp. I go to Flutter Main of my What's your speed? What's your speed, Flutz? What's your speed? 181. I don't think you're outspeed, but you do have Light Screen. You do have Light Screen, which is nice. So I might terrestrialize my Flutter Me. And just Gleam. Yeah. With the choice specs, I like it. I could go for Follow Me if I want to. I could Spike Shield up. I could swap over upon here. I think I'm just gonna double down. I think I'm just going to start. I just think I'm just going to attack a little bit. Maybe actually get back some HP here. You know what? This thing has a chance of critting, so... We'll go into the Ivy Cudgel here. So I'm going to put on Terrasalization here. They have a chance of probably going into Trick Room. So maybe if I can just KO this uh, for a graph, that'd be massive. But I don't know if we can. This Flutter Main's scaring me. It's hitting hard. It's hitting hard with the Moon Blast. I think it might be Choice Specs, the way it's going for Moon Blast. It looks like it. So he ends up going into a Moonblast, into the Ogre Pond slot. He was able to soak. 
decently well. Dazzling Gleam is going to finish off their Fluttermane on top of that, doing some nice damage over on the Frigrap. Beautiful. Can I get a crit and just finish this Frigrap off? I really hope so, right? I really do hope so. I really do hope so. We might not even end up swapping the Ogre Bomb. We might just use it for support with Fallen Man. And there's our crit. That's what we needed. That should pretty much wrap up this game, right? Big time crit. Big time crit. They actually still have uh, Incineroar. They still have Incineroar. But again, Light Screen's out. They can fake me out, though. A little bit of a problem. That's a big time crit, though. But they go Incineroar and into their final Pokemon. Gonna be Ursulina, who I thought it would be. So they were trying to set up Trick Room this whole time. Um, huh. They don't have Terra anymore, which is good. I could maybe just hard swap, or I could just go for follow me. But no, they're probably just gonna fake me out here. I'm just gonna go for a horn leech. I actually want to get back some HP on the overpod. So I'm gonna horn leech this thing down. So he ends up just protecting. Okay. So protect comes out from there. And that's kind of a weird protect to do, right? And yeah, that's a weird protect, because I would think they would fake out and try to get off a turn with or something. Like that. But instead, they let my Fluttermane just start attacking. Chunk up some nice big time damage onto Incineroar. And of course, perfectly set up at Citrus Berry. Why couldn't I leave it on like one HP before half? We had to perfectly put it on the half. Horn Leech gonna get blocked. And from here, we might just want to double down to a single. They're just gonna play with this one. And actually, with this recoil damage, you probably die out to another. No, you don't. I was gonna say, you probably die out to that. But from here, we're going for another Dazzling Gleam. And I'm just gonna double down into Incineroar just to make this a 2v1 situation, right? I do probably have Hyper Blaze, which could be scary, but I do have a nice little Great Tusk in the back end. With Ice Spinner, it can do some nice damage. We bring you down the one, and we actually should have KO'd the Ursaluna. We should have KO'd the Ursaluna, but Incineroar is just a guaranteed KO. But Blood Moon, Ursaluna, probably going for Hyper Voice here. No, just for a Blood Moon. I was going to say, we have Light Screen, so probably Ogre Pond eats it up, or maybe even Fluttermane, but Blood Moon, no one's surviving that. Big time damage takes out Fluttermane. They don't have Trick Room, so I'm going to be able to outspeed, and this is just going to be wraps. We're going to go 2-1 for today's video. Loving this Raikou team. I really am. I really am. Just setting up the screens, getting off the E-Web, Snarls if need be, have just been so good for us. They really have. Just been too perfect for us. Too perfect. So, Ice Spinner going to come out here, use that, and then just go for a nice, lovely Horn Leech. They're probably going to cancel match, right? Yep, there it is. 2-1 for today's video with this support Raikou squad. Great set of matches for today's video, loving this team all around. We got to use Great Tusk, a Pokemon that we haven't used too much in a while, and we got to use Raikou for our first time on the Rank Regulation at Flatter. Everything about this team works so perfectly. Incineroar, I don't even think we used it, which is awesome. That's just a good sign because Incineroar is so good, and then when you don't have to use it, just means the rest of the team is really good. But yeah, we didn't use Incineroar, we used Raikou in every single match, set up either a light screen or reflect, depending on who they led, and then kind of just speed control or special attack controlled from there. Latias was great, Fluttermane always OP, and then Ogre Pond top tier as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.